Another big thing that was happening in theaters in the 90s was it was an actual annual animated short film festival called the Spike and Mike Sick and Twisted um, Film Festival, which launched in 1990. This was another place where, again, all bets were off. You could really see experimental filmmaking at its finest. Um, and it, it lived up to its name. It really was some sick and twisted stuff. Um, some notable people who came out of this um, are Craig McCracken, who years later created the Powerpuff Girls, um, John Lasseter, who became the guy at Pixar and Disney, um, who made his first huge success by directing the very first Toy Story, later in his career, obviously, um, and Matt Stone and Trey Parker, who years later would create South Park. In fact, the original South Park Christmas holiday special was actually shown at this festival. Um, I don't know if you know, just really quickly, the, the, the way... South Park even came about is they were asked, they were at Fox at the time, and they were like just, I think, interns, and they were working, and they were asked to make a, a, kind, of like, kind of like a holiday card for the studio, and they said, well, can we make an animated short film? Uh, we can mail that out, like physically mail it out on VHS, on, you know, half-inch VHS cassette tapes, and that would be a Christmas card. And I go, sure. So they made this, this short, um, which... I don't even know how to, I think it was just called the South Park Holiday Special or Holiday Card or something. And um, it, uh, you know, and this, is an, and, and this is before, obviously, the internet, and, but it went viral in the sense where people were duplicating a VHS tape because it was so funny and literally passing it around town. In fact, I think there's a story about how George Clooney actually got it and actually kind of made it famous because he called the studio and he goes, wait, what was that holiday card you mailed us? That was hilarious. And it helped garner a lot of attention because George Clooney was kind of backing up this holiday card and giving it to his friends. Anyway, that was the original version of South Park, and uh, it it had its uh, its 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 theatrical debut. I think at the Spike and Mike um, Second Twisted Film Festival. Okay, now back to Disney. Disney had 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 a boom time in the '90s. Uh, Beauty and the Beast, 1991. Aladdin, 1992. The Lion King, 1994. Uh, which successfully broke op box office records, all those. Uh, Pocahontas, uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, uh, 96, Hercules, 97, Milan, 98, Tarzan, 99. All these grossed over $250 million worldwide. The films of this period are regarded as, as part of Disney's renaissance. A big part of it was due to a man named Christopher Vogler. In fact, there was a great book uh, that he wrote called The Writer's Journey, um, mythic structure for writers. If any of you writers out there, anybody really into storytelling, I urge you to get this book. Um, it's a popular screenwriting textbook by um, Quizzer Revolver, focusing on the theory that most stories can be boiled down to a series of narrative structures and chapter archetypes described through mythological allegory based on the writings of, mytho uh, of uh, mythologist Joseph Campbell and his book, specifically The Hero with a Thousand Faces. So that book basically says that all stories uh, innately adhere to very specific principles, a very specific formula in which a hero follows. He meets, he meets, he meets uh, allies and foes, shapeshifters, wizards. Uh, it's what George Lucas based Star Wars on, the George Campbell book. And it's basically what Disney suddenly was looking at as their Bible um, for um, how they were going to create stories. So a huge part of what became the boom of, um, of, of storytelling at Disney and why I think those stories have really resonated with us for so many years, it's because it, it follows this very simple kind of formula that Joseph Campbell basically said that all mythologies follow, which thus why they all have still lived with us for so long.